this is life sport at its best. It's about challenging yourself as well as great opportunity and it's just an awesome community and we're so psyched to have this group. Speaking with Higher Ground and I said hey let's combo up and have both an Alpine and a Nordic event happening at the same time get all these kids together doing the same fun stuff and now we're here. There's an amazing group of athletes that are excited about Nordic skiing so I could not be more excited to be here and work with them. We always want them to have fun, to challenge yourself, and definitely, yes, mistakes will be made, and those are good things. You want to make the mistakes, because that's how we grow, and that's how we improve. It's going great, and I'm really enjoying it. So many of these kids come from areas of the country where there is not a coach that specializes in paranordic. And so what we have is we have all these coaches that have such great experience. And so their kids are just soaking this up. Even the parents, I see them just listening so that they can take as much home with them. It's so fabulous for him to be out here with other adaptive teenagers, high schoolers, um, and coaches. It's been a year since I've been on the snow. Yeah. He's super athletic, he likes speed. Um, and for him to actually be back out here doing this, you know, it's, it means a lot to him. So now that we're after, after the kidney transplant, we're six months out, you know, his energy's back, you know, his health is back to being good, and so he's, he's been ready to go. I came here to try snowboarding after a few months after my accident. I think it's about seven or eight months now, so not too far off my accident, and I'm getting back to normal life. We were just wondering, how is this going to work? How is this going to work? And you guys have come in and just, I mean, that's one thing that, you know, we were talking about last night, you just brought so much hope to us. It gets me thinking about like, oh, I thought I'd never do this again. Like, I can do that again. It lets you go fast. It's like the one adaptive sport that really puts you on the, an even playing field, I think. <laughs> here with a bunch of people, getting to know people, having fun, laughing, making jokes. Meeting tons of people, like it's just been awesome all the whole week. Yesterday we had a great day of training all day in beautiful snowy weather and now we're at a, a race. <laughs> We wanted to put that out in front of our athletes and, and just give them the sense of what, what being at a ski race feels like because this is a really fun part of the sport. They had a lot of fun today. I was able to cheer them on and kind of give them some words of encouragement, maybe help them through some of the mental processes that I have when, I, when I'm racing. So it was, uh, it was a ton of fun. They were all digging extremely deep to get to that finish line, and I was, really, I was really excited and proud of them for how they did today. It felt really good. I'm a champion. I went and pushed myself as hard as I can. To be able to like find this foundation and be able to get back into the things I love, because sports are a really big part of my life, it means a lot. Thank you, Challenge Athletes. Thank you, Challenge Athletes Foundation. I'll just say thank you. Thank you guys very much. It means a lot to us and our fans. I, I could not be more excited about CAF supporting these events, and I, I'm so excited to see where it goes and where these athletes go.